inspired by the Canadian Federation of the Blind. Outlook, a show about accessibility, advocacy, and equality. I'm Brian. And I'm Carrie. Outlook. Outlook. Radio Western. Welcome to Outlook, and we are um, celebrating one year with Outlook. Yes, it was September the 10th, 2018, Uh that we did our first episode of the show. So today being 9-9-2019, which is kind of cool. Uh, we're we're here with our one year anniversary episode. So, I call it one year around the sun. I don't know why. Around the sun. Yeah. Well, yeah, one year basically. <laughs> I'm just trying to sp- spruce it up. But uh, yeah. So how many? How, you did the. You have the numbers there. We've done. Yeah. So we actually got a nice even number. We've d- d- did uh, 40 episodes in our first year. So nice. today is episode number 41, and the beginning of our second year of Outlook. And I was trying to start off the show here with a clip of our very first episode. And it wasn't playing, but I'll be able to get it going. Maybe... I can start talking. Can I? Here I am. You are on the air. (laughs) Hi, everyone. Um, My name is Carrie. And uh, I'm new to this, but Brian, you're not, right? Yeah, I've been doing radio. Well, I'm new to this, our first talk show, which you are now listening to. Mm -hmm. But yes, I've been doing a radio show for a year now called Chin Music. On Fridays from 11 to 1.30, and the last while I'd been doing it 11 to 2. And with the fall schedule coming up, I'll be doing it from noon to 2. But this Friday coming up is the last. It's kind of irrelevant. But anyhow, a bit, um, yeah. yes, I've had some experience, I guess, now being on the air. And it takes a while to get used to, but welcome to your first show, Carrie. I guess you've been on my show once a few weeks ago. Yeah, I was on there to talk about some of the things we're doing. Uh, with the Canadian Federation of the Blind, which was just the uh, promo thing we had there. That was a bit of a dark-sounding one. So, yeah, you can hear. This is us on our first ever episode from um, a year ago. I'm trying to listen because I'm trying to see if I do sound less comfortable. Yeah, because I commented how Carrie sounds a lot more comfortable on air than she did 40 episodes ago. And uh, if you listen to these old shows, you can tell there is a difference. And these are all up on our on SoundCloud um, you can follow us on Facebook, Facebook, Facebook yeah, so Facebook.com slash Outlook on Radio Western. Are, but uh, yeah, just a little more from this Canadian first. the Canadian Federation of the Blind, which some people, most people haven't heard of. So um, it started about a year ago here in Ontario. It has been going on on, um, on the West Coast in BC for about 20 years now. What All right, so yeah. Ta- what am I even talking about? No. I, I lost track. <laughs> are you talking about the, the CFB, which is what our show is inspired by? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to play a little clip from that. From our very first. It's weird. In my ear, that sounds like there's a hiss behind it, whereas on now that I'm on air here, I don't hear it. So. Well, that's because I'm I, I record my shows actually from home on my radio. Yeah, Brian does a whole process because we're trying to um, catalog all this, and uh, I guess that's your specialty. But yeah. well, I just like how the the audio records at home, even though you do get a bit of a hiss from the radio. I also kind of find that more authentic. So I like having that quality direct off of the radio analog radio wave signal is, is uh, I find that very cool. Huh. Well, I thought our theme today is just basically one year. So that's why um, I got you to find some, we got some clips just to show what we've been up to in the last year, the kind of guests we've had and things. But um, I guess, do you want to just re-establish who we are and how this Yeah, so... <laughs> I, I don't know if you want to say it's a little about yourself and then me and myself, but we are brother and sister, in case anybody wanted to. Yeah, anyone listening here, for, maybe for the first time now, being a new school year, this is our first episode of the new yeah, year. Hi, hi, if you're new to so Western students and listening to the maybe radio listening. station. We aren't students at the moment, but I was a student at Fanshawe. And this is a great place to um, you know, share your skills and volunteer or um, help out with whatever. It's a great um Great setup they got here. So that's something we just wanted to highlight. But 
Yeah, it's a it's such a great environment. I I started here with a music show just over two years ago now, and I'm almost up to my hundredth episode of that show. So mm. it's crazy how time flies. I started that first, and then it came up actually the former program director Pam, who recently left the station, who uh, was so great and was here for a couple of years as program director. She she had heard our podcast that Carrie and I have been. Um, doing now for just over three years, which is called Ketchup on Pancakes. She heard some of that, and she, she she messaged me out of the blue at once and said, hey, would you guys be interested in having your show, your podcast, aired on our station? Yeah, this has kind of evolved over time. Yeah, so I, th- I thought about that, and I thought that was, that'd be, that'd be cool. But then I also thought about the idea, it had sort of come up maybe briefly with Carrie and I about maybe doing someday. Um, and with our involvement with the Canadian Federation of the Blind, I thought maybe it'd be cool to actually do a live show because I really love live radio mm-hmm. and the sp- spontaneity. I'm beginning to of mm-hmm. of being in the moment, Before and it's, it's in some ways it's more pressure than a than a pre-record because you can edit and stuff. Whereas this is in the moment, but I also like that because no matter what happens, you you got to go with it and you got to be right on your toes yeah, and it's a good lesson ready to life. go. Mm-hmm. So when when she suggested this podcast, I thought, well, we could do that, but maybe we could just do something new and actually do a live show. So I brought that idea to Pam at the time, and she thought it was great, and she she said uh, she met with us briefly in her office, and we discussed the idea, and she put Out- us on the air. So Outlook was Well, Outlook wasn't born as far as the word Outlook, the name. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, I think we should start maybe... Yeah, do you want to um, tell a little bit about who you are other than... Okay, I, I can do that. Just a few details. Sure. So I was born blind... I have the same condition as my sister. Originally, the blindness part of it known as Lieber's congenital amaurosis. Or LCA, as it's often just referred. Which is the blindness. And then later on, discovering that I had a syndrome called senior locan syndrome, which includes my blindness and also relates with the kidney disease that Carrie and I both have. Um, I also have scoliosis. I've had corrective surgery for that quite a few years back. So all of these things are, are related in this syndrome. And I was born with that, lived my entire life blind. I've had the same amount of vision for my entire life. Graduated school, went to elementary school and uh, high school with everyone else in public school system. Graduated there, took a, took a little bit, bit of a break. <laughs> lived in Toronto, I'm a musician, so I played in a bunch of bands and played a bunch of shows. And That was an extended gap year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was actually... Um, but it was uh, more good learning. Yeah, it was learning to live on my own independently, learning to cook, Ugh, learning Toronto. to travel, um, taking the transit system in Toronto, and then moving back to London after my eight-year break, going back to school. And I went to school for general arts, which led into music industry arts at Fanshawe College, and I graduated there a couple years ago. And I'm currently looking for jobs, still playing music, working on some recordings, with the band stuff and then yeah just looking for jobs and playing shows and hosting my radio show and hosting this show and being involved with the Canadian Federation of the Blind as treasurer in Ontario nice. and recently elected as member at large um, in Canada here so that they have someone else on the executive Brian's on a board <laughs> yeah I'm on a board so yeah looking for work but still quite busy with all of the volunteer projects that I work on so mm-hmm. yeah you gotta keep busy yeah yeah, so I am Brian's older sister by three years. Um, so I came first, was born with this blindness, which we discovered later was a syndrome. Um, so I've had a kidney transplant for almost 25 years, or, well, 22. Um, but, yeah, so I was born with I was born with low vision, so Brian ha- had, like, light perception, so he could only ever see shadows and light and dark. I used to um, love to draw, so I... Our, most of our family, we're, we're all artistic here and in some way creative, so I like to draw and all that stuff. I could read large print. Um, so I have lost a lot of vision in the last 20 years. Um, so I'm, I'm always working on dealing with that, which is a good thing to talk about on the show. Um, and so when I lost the ability to see colors and, and fine detail, I, um, I no longer needed my glasses, so I <laughs> shed those. Um, and I sort of moved from creative or visual art to writing, basically. So I started a blog in 2014 on WordPress, kkherheadache.wordpress.com. Her headache is because I've had a lot of chronic pain and headaches. 
And life is one big headache. But that's okay because it's often beautiful. Um, but yeah, and then I moved into audio because I like audio storytelling too. I, you know, I like, you know, multiple art forms and media forms. I, I, podcasting became a thing and I had a right in the family, a brother who could make podcasts sound good. So I used his audio engineering skills and together we started Ketchup on Pancakes. And uh, yeah, we got involved with the CFB at the same time, the Canadian Federation of the Blind. Um, Brian became secretary for Ontario, and or no, he became <laughs> he, he became treasurer. I became secretary. Come on, care we're a year we're a year deep here. You should be. Yeah. Okay. So I became the secretary, his first secretary job, and Brian became treasurer. So we've been to a couple conventions out in Vancouver and Victoria for that. And um, so yeah, so today we can move into some clips if you want. We've had several guests on Outlook, but I guess I, I guess we should do thank yeah. yous now well, because well, we what can... I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of do it in order of how you hear things on the show. So I want to start okay. with the theme. Yeah, I was going to say we should do thank um, yous now because when we put them at the end, you rush them and you. Right. Well, the, the the theme is what I want to start with because our first our first. Uh, what about the name of the show? Few episodes. Oh, I guess the name of the show did come, but um, it came first. But the theme you he- is what you hear first when you turn on the show. And a lot of people, well, Pam specifically, like have told us how catchy it is. Yeah, That's so... Um, so Monday mornings, we want to get up people sort of upbeat and going. I know you've, you've heard it at the beginning of the show, but I'm just going to play... Check. ...second of the theme here. Yeah, without the talking, maybe. Inspired by the Canadian oh. Federation of the Blind. <laughs> I should have played one with the talking, without the talking. Outlook. But anyway, that's our catchy theme there in the background. <laughs> and you'll hear in our clips coming up, uh, one of our guests is uh, by the name of Tom Decker. And he is, um, well, he'll tell you in, the, in these clips what, what he does, mm-hmm. or what he's done for work. But he's also um, a bit of a musician. Um, he's been in his days. He's, he's older now. But uh, after he was on our show back in uh, last October, actually, hmm. we went back to my place. And using the uh, recording software that I have, he composed a theme for our show, which, like we said, everyone seemed to like who's heard it. Um, yeah, here's one without. Uh, nice. Without our talking. It's just good background. So yeah, he came up with this. I recorded. I was the <laughs> audio engineer, as I am, and he was the musician. So he played on my MIDI keyboard, played all these parts, funky little bass line, some claps, as you just heard, mm-hmm. some synthy sounds. So kind of old school sounding, retro. And I, I don't know, I just really liked it for our, for our theme. It has, it's very upbeat, positive for a Monday morning. And, uh, yeah, I thought that was really amazing that he put that together for us. And he honestly, it was like maybe like a half hour. Yeah, he just sat it was there very quite casual. Threw some parts down, and I did a bit of uh, quantizing later, which is a term which just means it syncs it up to the grid so that it's perfectly in time. Because um, MIDI, MIDI is a musical instrument's digital interface, so... It's, it's all digital, and I was able to just line things up a bit better, make it sound a bit tighter, did a little bit of mixing on it, exported it into a file, and that is now our theme. So we really wanted to thank Tom Decker for, well, for one, being on our show, but also for composing such an amazing theme that we play every Monday, uh, just after 11 a.m. Yeah, so that, that starts our show out, which is good. You need a theme. You do. So then we wanted to thank the the one who came with up, came up with the name for our show. Yeah. So in the clip that we're about I'm about to play, oh, you'll yeah. actually hear um, us thanking him for coming up with the name. And actually, this one was recorded in your apartment before we really kind of got going here because he was here visiting from from out of town. So yeah. So you heard a clip from our first ever episode back on September twenty or September tenth, two thousand eighteen, um, and the first clip that you're going to hear when I play our guest montage is from our second ever episode, which. We did record from my apartment. Um, our, our iPhones, right? We all just... Yeah. We used all our iPhones there. And the reason we did that was because, well, we wanted to get a recording of him before he flew back to Ireland, because our, our guest was from Ireland. And Carrie had some engagements she went to last year, right after we started the show. <laughs> uh, so she, we had to take a couple weeks off there. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we want to thank... I want to quickly thank Barry, our friend from Ireland, for coming mm-hmm. up with the title, Outlook, um, which we really like the title. It fit our Well, that's show. the thing. It's a show from my perspective, and it's a show from your perspective. Um, 
And it's also inviting guests on here. We're getting other people's perspectives, too. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah, we have a couple other thank yous to mention, or at least one more. But should we should we move on with the... Yeah, play the clip now. The clips? Okay, so here we have, over our past year, we've actually had 12 appearances, um, which equals 13 guests, because one of our guest appearances was two people over the phone. It was our only time over the phone, right? Yeah, it was the our only phone in. guests. But that's a nice round number. I mean, you could say 13, but technically... Well, technically 13, but let's say 12 guest appearances in a year. So that averages one a month, which is pretty good because that's kind of what I wanted to go for. Mm-hmm. Our show. We like a nice mix. We like to have some episodes like this one that it's just the two of us because that's sort of where the show starts from. And Yeah, a big part of the show is, is just having the two of us on, but it is also great to switch it up because you might get sick of just hearing us all the time. <laughs> uh, it kind of spices it up to have some, some guests. So it looks. Here's a nice thing. Uh, Three, about three and a half minutes, actually. Clip of all of our guests. And, yeah, we're likely just going to play this through. You'll get to hear all the names and uh, the introductions of all of the guests. And it'll had. sound like so much fun, you'll want to be next. Yeah. Anyone who wants to be a guest, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, or our email, outlookonradiowestern at gmail.com. All right. Welcome to our second ever uh, episode. And we have a name for our talk show. Right, Brian? Yes, actually, our special guest today came up with this name, which is nice to see. Your name is Barry. Um, and you're from? I'm from Ireland. Ireland, yes. From Belfast, Ireland. And thank you for the um, idea. So we've been looking for an idea for our show, just want to say. And you came up with the um, Out of the Blue yesterday. You just said Outlook. Yep, the name for the show. Yeah, and I love it. Well, I was originally from Ontario, but I right. retired in 2014. I used to be a re- rehabilitation teacher in Toronto, except that I taught iPhone for the last three or four years of it. So I guess I was more of an iHabilitation teacher, which is now the name of my company. My name's Tom Decker, by the way. Eric Burgraff is joining us today on the show. I'm serving as the uh, second vice president of the Canadian Federation of the Blind, and I'm also chairing the steering committee for... Ontario issues at CFB. So Steve Potter here. Are you? How blind, blind are you? I think, I think you're blind, right? I guess I am. I think I am. <laughs> I guess it's been about what 34 years. I'm as I'm as blind as they come. <laughs> so you were. I've got zero zero light perception. Yeah. So I guess say. that's that's. I, a, I thought you said you could see the sun. Let's introduce our guest, Vicky. Say hello. Hello, salam, namaste, London. The ones who have seen that movie would know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm so glad that I've made it to this show, and, uh, and it, it is it is quite welcoming. And uh, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah, here. my name is Jana McGrath, and I'm a violinist, a music teacher. Here, I still go to Western. I'm in my master's, just finishing up right now, and I'm about to leave to go to Teachers College in Kingston at Queens. So. Yeah. We are here from Bumping into Walls, which is a show similar to yours. We do the same type of topics out here at CJSW in Calgary, Alberta. Hey, this Oops. is, uh, sorry, this is Jesse. Oh, there you um, are. All right. I am a co-host of Bumping into Walls, and I grew up in Calgary. Good morning. I'm Carrie and Brian's mom, Janet. So I'm usually their biggest fan listening to this show, and <laughs> today I'm part of it. So it'll be interesting. It's different being in the studio compared to listening it. That's for sure. Radio, yeah, I'm usually so. out in the car listening. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm their chauffeur also, so I do a lot of driving and often drop them off and pick them up. I don't know. What did you think, Charmaine? Was it boring? <laughs> no, it wasn't boring. <laughs> That's good. Nothing in life is ever boring. As mentioned, I'm the program director here. Um, it's one of those jobs that I kind of was always going after in London. Um, I started as a volunteer at Radio Western in 2010. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Sophia, and I'm Max. Sophia and Max. And and how are you? How do how do we know you? How do we know you two? Because we're your family. <laughs> Oh, that is true. My name is Emily Trepanier. Um, I was born in Wallaceburg, but have lived in London for about 15 years now. Uh, I am legally blind. I am also working towards getting to the Paralympics as one of the first blind adaptive alpine snowboarders. 
There you go. There you go. That leads us up to today. Yeah, because Emily was our guest last week. So yeah, we've had a lot of guests lately. Um, yes, yeah, so we've had. Let's, as you can see, there a nice array of people from you know, not out of Canada, and people you know from I guess six to you know seventy years old. You know, quite an age, quite an age, uh, an age range there, and uh, you know, someone who's an athlete and someone who's a, a, a very talented musician who taught me violin there and. Yeah, and most of our guests have been blind, um, mm-hmm. but we did have a few sighted guests in there. Carrie's vi- former violin teacher, Gianna, who you heard in there, and then Pam, the the former program director here, and our mom being in there, and that our was mom, a big, yeah, big hit on Mother's Day there back in. Yeah, day. that was one of our bigger bigger episodes, just because it's I don't know, it was just I think that one was was really great and got a lot of mm-hmm. real positive response. Well, it's, again, getting our her perspective on what it was like, you know, finding out she had two blind children, that she had to learn to to raise uh, sort of a bit differently than her first two children. So it's good. So, yeah, we like a nice mix of guests. So hopefully in the year to come, we'll get get a lot more here. Yeah, for sure. And uh, just a quick mention, we've talked about it on the show before, um, that we also have had quite a bit of media coverage over our first year, which right. is came by surprise. I wasn't really expecting so much. But um, we've been covered by CTV, the CBC, and Accessible Media Incorporated. Um, so yeah, it's just been great to get the media coverage already, only being on for a year. It's been quite the ride so far. Mm. Well, that's the kind of thing you might expect in the second year. <laughs> it's like, which way are we going here? But you never know. Yeah, sometimes you 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 think you're getting all this attention right away, and then h- how are you going to keep that up? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not really necessarily about that. Um, like. The coverage is it's great and it helps, but we still we want to do this regardless. We're not doing this well, just for that, but it yeah. it helps to get the word out because it's really tough. Uh, anyone who hosts a show or has a podcast, well, there's or, so much out there. Yeah, in this internet age, you could right now be all you know. There's podcasts everywhere, like we we said, and but like I said, this chan- the station's very uh, very important part of the community. So um, and we're part of the community. Specifically, Brian lives in London, and I'm here all the all the time, and. Um, but yeah, it's hard because sort of these issues aren't talked about enough, in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, we we aim to, you know, do this show with uh, in an entertaining way and with you know humor. Yeah, I mean, in that in those clips of all the guests, you could hear a little bit in there. A lot of those were just us welcoming the guests on the air. I didn't. I figured that was the best. Those were the best clips <laughs> yeah. to pick. Um, but you can hear some of the humor in there um, with our friend Stephen <laughs> Potter, for example. <laughs> Saying who's blind, blind as they, as they come, come. <laughs> and we kind of laugh about it. So, you know, we want we want our show. It's it's tough when you talk about some of these issues that we uh-huh. we do discuss on the show, um, because they can get quite serious a lot of the time. But we also do like to keep things light and make it make people realize that just because we're blind, we're not, you know, we're, we're we want to talk about this stuff. We don't we're not offended by it. It's you got to educate people, and it's important to talk about, it and it's important to treat things lightly too sometimes, and just. Well, if if Have if everybody avoided avoided talking to us because they didn't want to offend or they you know they tried to stay out of our way when we're walking and they don't approach us and we can't necessarily see, it's harder on both sides. I realize to make that connection. Blind people do need to reach out and um, you know ask for what they want and speak up, and that's kind of what we're trying to do here. And sighted people need to you know realize that we aren't that different. And if it's scary, then let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> For sure. So, so we want our show to be, to come across casual and uh, not not too serious all the time. Um, so, if you did, if you do, if you know know anyone, or if you are listening and you are would be interested in being a guest on our show, whether you're blind or you you um, do something involved with disabilities or yeah, I mean it's a wider, broader topic, the, you know, of disability. We do sort of hone in on the blindness because that's what you know we know, obviously. So, but disability is getting more attention in the media, but it's a struggle to talk about some of the things. Like I, like we say in the theme song, accessibility is a big issue. And then we have to decide how much of the world we can make accessible for us. Like, for instance, right now we're using Braille displays, electronic Braille machines here. Um, and that's partly how we, you know, we keep track of the time and we have notes and we play Brian you'll play the themes from your braille display you know it goes bluetooth with an iphone so so that's sort of an accessibility thing 
Um, and then advocacy is what we do with the Canadian Federation of the Blind. And then equality is sort of overall what we're, you know, in a, in a society with equality at its heart it would be a great thing. So that's always what we're working toward. But we do want to thank the Canadian Federation of the Blind because, again, that is what inspired us to do this show in a lot of ways, right? CFB.ca, check them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're they're again they're not as well known in Canada, but they um, they are a grassroots organization. We are. Um, it's blind people speaking for ourselves, and it's basically um, working toward the idea that blindness is not what holds us back. I mean, it, it can and it does a lot of people, but it's just it involves finding out ways around some of the obstacles and there are ways it just takes you know work a little bit and one of those obstacles we face being blind is visuals um mm. it's it's a tough tough thing but to market yourselves and yeah. to to get out there visuals are important so i'm pretty good with the with the social media i, I run our facebook page and i post on twitter hello out there on twitter <laughs> um right and so that's great but yeah you need something visual to catch your sighted audience's eye so we wanted to come up with a logo for Outlook. And in my head, as I, like I said, I used to be able to see a little bit. I had an idea of doing something with the O from Outlook and an actual I. So basically blending the two together a little bit. Um, and then I wanted to get someone's opinion on that because I wasn't going to create it myself. So, Yeah, so we got um, actually Nav here from the station who mm-hmm. um, is part of the news team here. Um, he also does some design and and uh, videoing and uh, photo. In fact, takes isn't, photos, he, so. isn't he videoing right now? Yeah, right. so this show is being videotaped. So we want to do something different for our one year. We anniversary hope to have show. this up online at some point. Um, and and Nav also um, designed our logo, which you will be seeing more and more hopefully on our Facebook page coming <laughs> up here. Out how to... um, so yeah, that was the one more, one more thank you we wanted to wanted to give here, along with Tom Decker for the theme, Barry. For the name of the show, Pam, for suggesting chance in the this first place. option in the first place. The station, obviously, in general, Radio Western. All our amazing. guests. Yeah, exactly. All I, of our guests that you heard in that clip. That. All the guests, all the people who have helped us with the Canadian Federation of the Blind. Um, basically, a lot of people like to say the line for disability, nothing about us without us. Whoa, I wasn't expecting so, that. So there's a lot that's been talked about <laughs> with disability cool. and stuff, but... Often we're not consulted enough, and so that's why we have to really speak for ourselves as many ways as we can. Otherwise, you get lost in the shuffle. So I'm glad we have Outlook, and I don't know what to expect in the coming year, but that's okay. That's what makes life exciting. Yeah, we're going to keep keep moving things along. Like we said, we've had a few guests, more guests in the last month than we normally do, so <laughs> that's exciting. Things are picking up with that, and yeah, it's just back into another another fall coming up here, brand new year of Outlook, so... Happy to be on the air for an, for a year, and uh, we're looking forward to being here for many more. We'll <laughs> see what happens in the future. But yeah, well, thanks for listening, everybody, and we will be back. Yeah, thanks to all of our listeners as well. We wouldn't do this, couldn't do this without you. So thanks, Bry, for everything. Yeah, thanks, Carrie, for <laughs> coming up with a lot of the ideas and doing a lot of the prep. So. Right. All right, week, we will everyone. see you next Monday at 11 with another new episode. Have a good week. Find us on Twitter at OutlookCFB and on Facebook, facebook.com slash Outlook on Radio Western.